I am a publisher, writer, editor, daughter, sister, auntie, dog mom, and many other things, including currently a cancer patient. But I am not a doctor or medical professional of any sort. What you are about to watch is an episode of my journey through cancer. I'm sharing my adventure with you in hopes that you'll find something here that's comforting and maybe even inspiring. This video is not intended to provide any sort of diagnosis or treatment plan. Please, please go talk with your doctor for professional medical advice. Today I went to the funeral mass for the mother of my best friend. Um, I've known my best friend since we were 12 years old, so that's 52 years of friendship. And um, in that time, I've collected hundreds of stories about her and her mother, and I could make this into a really long video and tell you all about how much I admire both of these women um, and illustrate each point with a telling anecdote. Um, I could pull at your heartstrings and um, talk about the terrible turning of time, the move from one era that's known to another era that's unknown every time a loved one passes. Um, yeah. My cousin, Rick, who once upon a time was in seminary, uh, he and I have discussed in, at some length loss. And um, we've talked about the reunion that awaits us on the other side with our loved ones who've passed. Uh, we've imagined it as a, <clears throat> a seat at the feast um, where our loved ones who've gone before us are enjoying just some really amazing Italian food, like the kind that we grew up with. Um, and, uh, I, I imagine the dogs we've loved here on this side tucked in at our feet and we're just surreptitiously slipping them some choice pieces of brajole. Death, in other words, is just an invitation to a fabulous party that we haven't received yet. I'm determined to win my fight against cancer, but that doesn't mean I haven't thought about not winning it don't have a fear of death, but I do like it here and I'd like to stick around. Still, um, the celebrant at today's mass ended his eulogy with this thought, that death isn't a separation, but a preparation for a party. I find that quite comforting. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell.